Just how much is this going to cost me? Well, since you're the queen, I'm going to give you the royal offer. Ooh, what's the royal offer? At absolutely no cost to you, I'm going to make you one day fortune. Try it out. Take it around the block a few times. Take it around the block a few times. Oh, uh, sorry. I used to sell used cars. Oh. What I mean is, see if it comes true. And if it does, I'll come back every day and tell your fortune. Oh, oh. Please, try it, Your Majesty. After all, you have nothing to lose. Oh, all right. Uh, sense is the royal offer. I never could resist a bargain. <laughs> so what do I do? First, let me read your palm. Oh. Oh. What do you see, Mr. Floyd? I see financial matters figuring in big today. I predict you'll spend money and get something in return. Oh, why, that's amazing, Your Majesty. His prediction has already come true, and he had no way of knowing you ordered something from the Regal Catalog. You see, that's what these phony fortune tellers do. They say something that could apply to anybody. You're not a fortune teller. You're a phony, a fake, a cheat. Majesty, be careful. I've heard that fortune tellers can cast spells on people they don't like. Spells, indeed. Now, I got a prediction for you. I predict I'm going to get real crabby if you're not out of here in 30 seconds. I predict you'll be very sorry you said that. Oh, not said your fantasy. Did you hear that? You'll see when you hear I'm a fortune teller for some other queen, you'll be green with envy. Oh, nonsense, oh, nonsense. nonsense. You're about to tell Mr. Floyd. Oh, no, no, no. So insulted! Please don't be angry. At least you don't do anything rash, you know, like, oh, I don't know, let's say, cast a sinister, dastardly, fed as they come spell on the queen. This. Hello? Hello? Is it Phil? I came flying today. Really? You want to go? Sure, I'll be right there. Great. Thanks, Zelda, you're a real pal. <laughs> come on, Alice, we're going shopping. My favorite store, the Queen's Emporium is having a three-hour only sale. Come oh, on. Wait a minute, Your Majesty. Didn't Mr. Floyd, the fabulous fortune teller, kind of predict you'd go shopping today? So? I go shopping every day. How hard is that to predict? <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What angry fortune teller, Your Majesty. <gasps> oh. But I didn't think it was that angry. <laughs> No. <laughs> it can't be. Can it? Your Majesty? Is that you? Oh, of course it isn't. How could I be so silly as to think that an iguana could be the queen? <laughs> Just because it's sitting on the queen's throne and... And reading the Queen's regal catalog and wearing the Queen's scarf. <gasps> Your Majesty! Your Majesty? Mm, boy, if that's the Queen, she's really not herself today, is she? No. She insulted a fortune teller and he cast a spell on her. Hmm? Well, you've heard those stories about crabby fortune tellers casting spells and changing people into creepy crawly creatures. Well, one thing's for sure. If the queen ever saw an iguana wearing a beautiful scarf like that, she'd be green with envy. <gasps> green with envy? Oh, dear. The fortune teller warned the queen she'd be green with envy, and now look at her! <gasps> this, this, this thing is the queen! <laughs> You're sure? There's no other explanation. Well, can you think of another way an iguana could end up on the Queen's throne? Hmm, by promising to lower taxes? Oh, this is awful. Oh. Well, we just have to make the best of it until the spell wears off. We just go about the day as if nothing has happened. That's what we'll do. <laughs> I see it's time for Her Majesty's afternoon walk. So I'll just <laughs> take off my skates and get Her Majesty's walking shoes. In her present form, I think a leash would be more useful. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Did 
the queen get a new pet? Oh, this isn't a pet of the queen. <laughs> this is the queen. You see, she angered a traveling fortune teller, and he cast a spell and transformed her into an iguana. Oh, it's just awful. Oh, I don't know. It's done wonders for her complexion. Such a lovely shade of green, your majesty. But well, the whole thing's perfectly embarrassing. I've already had to call the Wonderland Fire Department once to get Her Majesty down from a tree. And all of this is the result of a spell, huh? Well, I think you should listen to this story. This is a tale of a beautiful young princess who longed for a handsome prince. One day, the princess was sitting by the lily pond when she was suddenly surrounded by three frogs. Yuck. Each one said they were a prince who was under a spell. Each one wanted a kiss from the princess to break the spell. The first said, choose me, for I am wise. The second said, choose me, for I am handsome. The third said, choose me, for I am a fun guy. The princess didn't know which frog to kiss. Would it be frog number one, frog number two, or frog number three? Well, the princess simply couldn't decide which frog prince to choose. And she felt so guilty about it that she began baking them cookies to eat while they waited. The princess never could make a decision. So instead of a handsome prince, she ended up with three very fat frogs. Wait. You're not suggesting that the spell will be broken if somebody kisses the iguana? It's the cure recommended by four out of five wizards. Yeah, but, yeah, yes, but who could we get to kiss this reptile? I, I... Oh, the things I do for my queen. No offense, Your Majesty. <laughs> but look, it didn't work. The Queen is still an iguana, which means I... Which means I just kissed a lizard for no good reason. 